Hello guys, here's old Scott Tucker here, buddy, here on a Saturday night. I guess on one of my last Taurus rants about the, the Spectrum. Again, here's my magazine. That's all I've got. And a lot of guys, I've been getting some flack from different guys saying I hate Taurus. I don't hate Taurus, I wouldn't have three or four guns here made by the company. I've had some good ones and I've had some lemons. Here is probably the oldest one we got, and yes, it's hot. It's Model 85, six-shot revolver, double-action revolver. It's my wife's carry piece with Crimson Chase laser grips. Probably 10 years old, and it's been a good gun. Nothing wrong with it. I bought myself a couple years ago when these things got so dirt cheap, Taurus G2C. It's not my everyday carry, but it is hot right now because most of my guns are hot in the safe. Uh... This one's been a good gun. No problems. I probably got 3,000 rounds through it. Not a hiccup. Been good. The wear sucks, but what the heck. I just got the Taurus TX-22. I had a hiccup or two. Y'all probably seen the first magazine. Otherwise than that, five, 600 rounds. Man, it runs like a scalded dog. Nothing's wrong with it. The buddy of mine at work gave me the fiber optic sight from Lake Line. Appreciate it, Mike. Runs great. My problem is really is that everybody makes good guns and bad guns. We all get that. Taurus's customer service goes above and beyond sucking. And believe me, if you ever have to get on their phone and be on hold for 45 minutes, as Bobby Brown says, their music sucks, man. It drives you bonkers. I have literally sat on the phone for 45 minutes, and I have to do this while I'm at work because they close the business office hours closed so I have to call them when I'm at work while I'm working I got my phone in my pocket on speaker working trying to listen to when they finally pick up well they've had my firearm since November 27th in their possession when they got it at the shop in Georgia they acknowledge that they've had it since November 27th I have called them once a month or probably every two or three weeks since January. What's the status on the firearm? What's the status on this Taurus Spectrum? We don't know. We don't know when it's going to be fixed. Well, I called them Friday morning and they got it within a two minute call. I'm like, oh man, this is going to be great. They finally answered the phone quick. The lady was very polite, you know, knew my name. Yeah, you, Mr. Morgan, what do you got? Give them the serial number. Um, we don't have an idea when your gun's going to be fixed. I mean, they could not give me a date. A month, two months, three months. I asked them, I said, y'all have had this farm for five and a half months and you haven't done a damn thing to it. And they said, well, we just don't know what to, didn't know what to tell me. And I said, well, send me my damn gun back. They said, but it's not fixed yet. You want I said, hell yes, I want it back. I said, so I can tear the damn thing up. And I plan on destroying the piece of shit. And I hate to say it like that, because uh, it was kind of a little gift from my grandson and my wife for my birthday last year, I guess it was. My birthday's in October. So it's got a little sentiment to it, and I like the gun, you know, but damn, enough's enough. I asked my wife about it, and she said, tear the son of a bitch up for she cared. She's probably tired of me bitching about it. I don't blame her. Because um, I can't sell it. Because I know it doesn't work. So that would be make me a bad guy. And I'm not going to do that to nobody. If I trade it in, I'm trading in a gun that I knowingly know doesn't work. I can't do that to the gun shop or a future gun owner. So I'm stuck with the piece of shit. And I use that term the way it is. So I'm telling anybody, guys, if y'all buy a Taurus, and I'm not saying don't buy them, but beware, they're going to preach this lifetime warranty bullshit to you. And that's what it is, is bullshit. Buy, if you're going to buy a gun from somebody's warranty and their customer service, don't buy a Taurus. Buy, top, buy a Taurus because they're cheap and they might work, I'm all for it. But if you plan on getting a gun and using their customer service to treat you right in the future, nah, it ain't gonna happen, guys. It ain't gonna happen. At least in my excuse or my uh, situation, it literally sucks. 
Bobby Brown got treated very badly on his revolver. Look at his crap he went through for several years. Some guys get treated nice. That's cool. I know they can't treat everybody nicely, but damn, I don't think it's too unreasonable at five and a half months not to fix the firearm. Or tell me it's unfixable. I don't get it. They were first telling me the excuse, well, we made a move from Florida to Georgia. Oh, don't give me that crap. We all know of plants that have moved. I've worked in production and, uh, main, uh, sorry, manufacturing for 40 damn years now. A plant don't run like that. They just got piss poor customer service and don't give a shit. All right, guys. I'm just telling you, any of you new guys or whatever want to buy a cheap gun, if it works for you, great. If it don't, Hey, don't lose no sleep over the damn things of Taurus, probably. Damn high point treats you better than that. Anyway, oh head bit loves you. I won't make an oven out of this damn spectrum unless I am destroying the damn thing with some 12 gauge slugs. That'll probably happen next, guys. Alright. Hillbilly loves you. God bless you. Talk to you later. Bye bye guys.